guys, welcome back to Frickin' Watch This New Settings. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be really quickly making some flowers. We are using a nail mold, or a nail art mold, flower mold, whatever you want to call it. It's a mold. And so, I've been buying, I don't know if you can see, these flowers... Um, because I absolutely love them, but I wanted to make my own and I thought this would be such a better idea just because I do like different colors, different shades, different tones of, uh, of, um, colors of flowers. So I thought this would be great. So now here are some molds. We're going to be using our 3D, um, brush. We're going to be using yellow acrylic. And we're also going to be using, obviously, your monomer. So you want you want to grab your... So you dip your brush in. Make sure you burp it. Now wipe it against the side a little bit. And I like mine drier. More drier than it is wet just because um, I don't want my uh, flower to take forever to dry or it's too runny. And yeah, so you want to grab your monomer, dip it into the monomer wipe it off now we're gonna dab into the uh, acrylic powder okay that's gonna be my bead I am gonna dab the excess off and we're gonna go ahead and place it in so now my bead was a little bit too dry all you have to do is wipe your brush Dip it back in there, and it'll moisten it up. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing that. My son's about to be coming over here, so if you guys hear in the background, for me talking to him, he's playing right now. And I was working on my toes last night, and I wanted to add another flower, but I wanted to make my own. Especially because I, I did buy the mold. And so, yeah. So there is, I don't know if you can tell, the flower. It says very, very popular flowers, so I'm very, very happy I found the mold. I forgot exactly where I bought it. I don't know if it was... Um, if it was on Shein or if it was on AliExpress, but I did find it and I'm very happy because these are super, super popular. So we're gonna let it dry really fast and I'll be right back. I'm sorry, actually, we're not gonna let it dry. I'm gonna make this one as well because I want it for both toes. I'll show you what my toes look like now. In a little bit. And I think we're actually going to also make it for um, our nails. But I don't know. I like them plain. Make sure you clean off the sides. So there it is. I think it needs a little bit more. Yes, it does. So you want to make sure you tilt it. I don't know if you can see it. To the side. And one of the petals is missing a little bit of acrylic. So make sure you just fill it in. That looks so much better. Okay. We're going to go ahead and let dry. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and see if it is dry enough. you got to be careful, too, just because sometimes it can be a little wet. Um, and if you pinch it or you squeeze it or whatever the case may be, they get distorted. So they look about just done. You also want to... Okay, so let me show you. I don't know if you can catch it. So here in the center of this flower, it's still very, very glossy. That means it is not dry. 
as per this one, it is matte all around. Obviously, because that was the first one that I made. And let me see. I'm gonna grab some tweezers and gently pick it out. Oh, you had us done. And so it is a, oh, okay. That super famous flower that we all love. I know I do. But you can do it in any color that you want. I highly, highly recommend them. I think I want to make a different color. I don't know if it'll match. Oh, no, that one's good too, but. Obviously, don't squeeze it. And it is, again, that same, same flower. So I haven't finished my toes, so please excuse them. But they are this. And I was debating on putting this one on the corner. I feel like it, no, I think it goes well. Okay, perfect. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I highly, highly recommend this mold. Obviously, these flowers, they seem like they're not going to be fading out anytime soon, so I highly recommend it. That's just so you don't have to keep buying flowers and flowers are waiting for flowers, you know, to arrive or whatever. You can actually just make your own, and in any color, you can make them in glitter, you can make them translucent, you can make them more opaque, you can make them whatever the case may be, but... I highly, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys until the next time. Bye.